Want more information about the items we highlight on the show? Then make sure you drop by our website at dottotech.com. You'll find details about the products we cover, episode descriptions, and lots of cool features. I have three different notebooks here. Lenovo N100, which is a desktop replacement notebook. The X41, which is a tablet PC. And the X60 Ultra Portable. Now these three cover a lot of different styles for small business notebooks. Now as far as price is concerned, you're going to spend around $1,000 for the N100 to the mid $2,000 price range for the X series. But if you add more features, you can increase that price tag somewhat. Let's take a look at the N100 to kick things off. It's a desktop replacement notebook. The cost is close to that of a desktop PC, but they're much more convenient to use. This one weighs in at about six and a half pounds, so it's ideal for taking back and forth from home to the office or moving around in different work locations in either home or the office. Now, some of the features we're going to look for in traditional notebooks, what did I mention earlier? We need Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. That's built in, so this is set up for wireless networking right away. Now, the one of the things you're going to notice right away, especially in relation to the other computers, is the screen. It's a wider screen. It's a wide-angle screen, which is set up with the same aspect ratio as home entertainment screens. So this computer works in both the entertainment and workspaces. Taking a look on the side here, we see a couple of the different connecting ports. We have a monitor port. I always love hooking my notebook computer up to an external monitor. I like working with two monitors. There's our drive and USB ports and our audio ports for microphone and headphones. And on the other side, we have more USB ports as well. We have a PC card slot and a secure digital memory slot so that we can plug memory cards directly out of our cameras in and be able to download photos directly into the N100. Let's move along and take a look at the X-Series. Now, for high-end users, the X60 and the X41 tablet. The X41 is a tablet PC, allowing you to interface with a pen on an active touch screen. There's a unique bezel here that allows us to convert the traditional notebook into a tablet PC. Then we use our pen and we can manage it without a keyboard. Now it has a lot of the same connection points as the other computers have, including, you'll notice here, there's no drive, but there is a secure digital memory slot, so we can do things like transfer photos directly into it really easily, again, without connecting the camera. Now, the X60 over here, that is the ultimate in ultra portable. It's powerful and packed with features. And both of these computers are designed as business computers. Security and reliability is much more important to their users than entertainment systems. So they sacrifice optical drives for weight. They ship with smaller speakers. The speakers are great for doing things like system sounds, beeps and stuff, but you don't necessarily want to listen to Vivaldi on them. You'll want to plug an external speaker or a headset in for that. Now, all three of these models have fingerprint readers to prevent unauthorized access to data. This is a special fingerprint reader. It's not just looking for fingerprint patterns, but it has a capacitance sensor, which means they're actually looking for an electrostatic charge in the living tissue of your skin. That means, Mr. Bond, if they manage to cut off your thumb in order to gain access to your valuable information, they will fail because there will be no electrostatic charge in your now severed thumb, and that should be comforting. These computers are also built to higher specs than the desktop replacement systems. The hard drives have built-in shock absorbers to reduce shock, and there are also special sensors called accelerometers that actually detect a drop and then take action by parking the head to save the drive from damage if the computer is actually dropped or jolted. This means a small accident doesn't result in you losing your computer to the shop, or worse, losing all of your data. If we take a look at the X60, they also have steel hinges in it so that the opening and closing of a notebook over many years isn't going to break the bezel, which happens in some lesser quality notebooks. Have you ever spilt a cup of coffee on your keyboard? <laughs> For a desktop computer, that entails a trip to the store to buy a new keyboard. On a notebook, it spells disaster. Take a look here in the bottom of the X60. Drain holes. Drain holes straight through the keyboard. And the keyboard itself has a membrane underneath it with a full lip that encapsulates all of the electronic components underneath it and will actually hold up to two ounces of water and cause it to drain straight through. Oh, it's the little things that make life great, isn't it? 
Now, before we leave the hardware side, we do need to talk a little bit more about this keyboard because the legacy of IBM all started with typewriters. IBM's always known the importance of the interface with your tools, and we use our keyboard most. That's the tool that we use the most. So little things like how far apart the cues are, how far down they actually travel, how much force is needed to press a key down, how big they are. All of those details combine to give you the touch and feel of a keyboard. And all of the Lenovo notebooks have a beautiful touch and feel. It's really the best, in my opinion. I can close my eyes, type away on several different keyboards. I can tell you which one is the IBM or the Lenovo keyboard because they have that positive a feel. Another thing they pay attention to is how many rows. You might not think about how many rows your keyboard has, but Lenovo has. The reason they think about it is your desktop computer has seven rows, so they've given you the same keyboard layout. So there's less time in transition from desktop to notebook computer. You can find the keys where you expect them to be. There's no hunting and pecking around. Other notebook manufacturers will sometimes go to six rows to compress the keys to, to allow for their form factor. Not so with Lenovo. And they have one other piece of innovation I should talk about. Have you ever knocked a keycap off of one of your keyboards? Oh, trying to put them back on on a notebook computer? That can be an exercise in frustration. Not so with the X60. Take a look. I can pop the key right off and then pop it right back on. That is good engineering. There's a lot more to notebooks than processor speed, size, and memory. Lenovo doesn't stop innovating at the hardware level. Mm -mm. They let the software guys have a hand as well. And we're going to look at that software side a little later in the show.